Hello everyone, I welcome you to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to run your PHP file in your local host. So let's begin. Now to run your PC file in your local host, I will be recommending you a software called XAMPP. So using this XAMPP server, you will be able to run your PC file in your local host. So for that, you need to first install XAMPP. So before that, you need to first download XAMPP. So go to your favorite browser and you know just simply type XAMPP download, then enter. And then you will be seeing this www.apachefriends.org is basically our first search result. So you now just simply click on this download XAMPP. Next you will be automatically going to redirect you to this official website of XAMPP. And if you just scroll down a bit, you will be seeing this XAMPP is available for Windows and, and this PHP version of 7.3.28 or 7.4.19 and, and 8.0.6 versions so 8.0.6 is basically you know the latest version of php if you are using some older version of php then you can just simply proceed with these links but in this video i'd like to show you how to download xamp for using the latest version of php that is this 8.0.6 so for that you need to just you know simply proceed with this download 64 bit option and this will you know, automatically going to start downloading XAMPP. I have already downloaded it, so just you know, simply cancel it. And if I just simply minimize my browser, and if I just simply go to my download directory, you can clearly see the XAMPP 8.0.6 installer has been you know, rightly downloaded over here. And the file size is 157 MB. I will be also putting the link in the description, so you don't need to worry about these links and all. So we'll be getting the link in the description only. All right. And now this is the installer. To install the XAMPP, just you know, simply double click on it. And after giving administrative privileges, just you know, simply minimize my download directory. And now as you can clearly see, our XAMPP setup wizard has been you know, rightly opened. So just you know, simply click on next. So these are the files that you know going to be installed. That is this Apache server, MySQL, FileZilla FTP server, Marker Email server, and Tomcat. And and they are also going to install this PHP along with Perl. And side by side, they are also going to install PHP MyAdmin, using which we use this MySQL. And then they are also going to install this Webalizer and then this fake SendMail. So you know just simply check all this and then just you know simply click on next. So this is going to be, you know, your installation folder, that is the C, XAMPP. If you want to change your installation destination, then you need to just simply click on this browse button and you can change that. I'd recommend you not to change this folder and just, you know, simply click on next. And the default language is English. If you want to change this language to, uh, let's say, Dutch, then you can change that. Only these two languages are available currently. So just you know, simply select English if you wish and then just you know, simply click on next. And now just again simply click on next. This will you know, automatically going to open this uh, official website of Bitnami. For the time being just you know simply minimize it and it's now currently ready to install. So just you know simply click on next for installation and it has you know rightly started installing XAMPP. Now let's see uh, what this Bitnami website is actually uh, giving us so here is currently telling that say hello to your favorite application on XAMPP so if you just scroll down a bit you'll be seeing that they have this various web builder called this WordPress, Joomla, Drupal and all so all these are very very useful web builders I have already made a video on how to use this WordPress in your local host I'll be also putting the link in the description so I will recommend you to also check that video so that you can use this beautiful feature of XAM that is this WordPress and how to use this WordPress for absolutely free in your local host. So do watch that video as well. You will get to know more about this website and all using that video. 
Now the installation is currently running. It's now currently unpacking some files. It will take some time to install, maybe you know a couple of minutes or even more. So what I'll be doing is I'll be coming back after installing ZAMP. Yeah. So we'll come back. And now as you can clearly see our ZAMP has been you know, rightly installed and it's not currently telling that whether we'd like to start our control panel now. So you know just simply check this and just you know simply click on finish. So this will you know automatically going to open your control panel. And now as you can clearly see our ZAMP control panel has been you know, rightly opened. So you can just you know simply start your Apache and you can also start your MySQL. So you know just simply start your Apache and MySQL and then just you know, simply minimize your ZAMP and then just you know simply go to your C directory and then you'll be seeing this ZAMP folder. So you know just simply double click on it and then you'll be seeing this htdocs folder. This is very important guys. Just remember this htdoc folder. For ZAMP using this htdoc folder we basically host our PHP file. So XAMPP use this HDOC folder which basically acts as a server in your local host. And now as promised, now I'd like to show you how we can run your PHP file. So for that just you know simply click on a new folder and let's uh, name this as a PHP underscore program. So we go inside that folder. In here I'd like to create a new file where we'd like to you know simply write a PHP code snippet. So you know, just simply uh, click on right click on it first and then just you know simply uh, click on new then text document. So in here just you know simply go inside that text document and here let's write a simple PHP code snippet so angular bracket PHP then you know just simply uh, close that tag and here just you know simply type hello first echo then hello world and then just you know simply go to file then save as and then you need to save this file as let's give a file name as prog then dot php this is very important you need to save this file as dot php extension and also you need to save as type as to all file so you need to do these two things first you need to save this file as your file name then dot php and you need to save this file as type all file and then just you know simply click on save so this will you know going to create this prog file with a .php extension you can clearly see this php file you can always delete this new document that will not create any problem so now that you have rightly saved your simple php code snippet inside this prog file so you know just simply go to your favorite browser just open a new tab and in here just you know simply type local host then enter this will you know automatically going to redirect you to this exams dashboard so in here just go again to your htdoc so you have saved this program inside this php underscore program directory so you know just simply right click on it then copy just copy that folder name then go to your browser once again then go to this url just simply delete this dashboard then simply right click on it and paste php program then enter and then you will be seeing this page called index of php program so in, so this php program is basically your name of your folder and you can clearly see this proc.php file has been you know rightly shown over here so if you just simply click on that you will be seeing this hello world has been you know rightly shown in our browser so that is basically coming from your php program this hello world you can always verify that by you know just simply changing if you just you know simply change this to hello everyone and then just again go to file then save and if you just reload it you will be seeing this hello everyone rightly shown in our browser so in this way you run your php program in in your local host i have rightly shown you how to install xamp and then i have rightly shown you how to run your php program in local host i have this website called kikiskip.com in here you will be seeing various tutorials along with some blogs that i have written so do check our website kikiskip.com 
So that's all for this video friends. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video then please give it a like and also do share it with your friends. Thank you very much for watching this video and God bless you all.